Diddy had freak off parties. Celebrities went to those parties. Sports stars went to those parties. The freak off term that has now not only become synonymous with Sean Diddy Combs, but it is at the center of his federal crimes case. These Diddy freak off parties are way worse than we thought, guys. I actually went to a Diddy freak off party in Miami at a mansion. It was like eight stories high, and I just kept going up, and the higher you went, the weirder it was going on. <laughs> At my parties, we dance. Like, guys dance with girls, and girls dance with guys, and guys dance with guys, and girls dance with girls. So, we know that Diddy, he is just a wild guy. He had all of these parties with a lot of big-name celebrities and some lesser-known celebrities. Y'all, Diddy's wild Halloween parties are back in the spotlight. Celebs like LeBron James, Jennifer Lopez, and Ashton Kutcher were regulars. Doing some things that I can't really say in this video, but you kind of just have to use your imagination. And now, there's a lot of celebrities are saying now, okay, I do not want to be linked with Diddy in any way, shape, or form. My name, I don't want it to come up in the same sentence as Diddy because, yeah, they were caught on camera and in videos literally doing some pretty wild things and it could be pretty incriminating for them. So we know that these parties got really wild, but yeah, they get even worse. So check this out, guys. Imagine stepping into a room where every single wall and even the ceiling was covered with mirrors. Yeah, the entire room, just a reflection, one giant reflection. No matter where you look, you caught a glimpse of yourself or somebody else, literally in every single aspect and every single angle of the room that you're in. And according to a party planner who witnessed Diddy setting up for these parties, that's literally what he would do. According to a party planner who allegedly worked with him, mirrors lined the walls and ceilings so guests could see every angle. Create rooms with just mirrors in them. And Diddy allegedly, he wanted to create a watch from every angle experience for his guest. Wow, this detail alone really goes to the core of what these parties were actually like. That's so weird. Just imagine doing all that stuff and seeing yourself. We're all pretty tough critics of ourselves, but I couldn't imagine like doing the deed with somebody and seeing myself in the mirror. Nah, nah, bro. And like I was mentioning, Diddy didn't just have high profile celebrities. He had obviously people that were lesser known as well, just, you know, some regular friends. And according to insiders, he allegedly went the extra mile to hire models. But here's the thing. Sources say that these models were most likely adult workers, not just typical models. Some were, but the majority of them were like, yeah, these adult workers and the party planner who actually asked to not be named they did clarify that while they were only responsible for arranging mainstream party details it did come as a big surprise when these adult worker models showed up now one thing that's pretty interesting is that this party planner who's sharing all these inside details about the diddy free coughs and sharing details about diddy making rooms out of mirrors and everything, they chose not to be named. And it's pretty interesting because first thing that comes to my head is that, okay, well, this person's obviously making this stuff up because why wouldn't they just come on record and say who they are? Like, what, what do they have to lose? But then on the flip side, I'm also thinking that maybe they're just straight up scared, you know? And this is probably something really, really hard for them to talk about because they were holding all the details in over the years and they just don't know how to come out and say it. Maybe they're just scared of any repercussions, whether it comes directly from Diddy or somebody close to Diddy. Yeah, they're probably just worried or they just don't want to be investigated because although they are spilling details about Diddy's freak offs, they probably were caught on camera, just like a bunch of other celebrities, maybe being involved in certain acts or maybe appearing to be involved in certain acts, but either way, it's still incriminating and they don't wanna go down with everybody in this investigation. So, so yeah, there's a few things to consider here, but I guess in this case, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt that they're actually telling the truth. But getting back to some of the details about these freak off parties. So people like the Kardashians, Leo DiCaprio, Jay-Z and Beyonce, Jennifer Lopez, who dated Diddy back in the day, as well as 
Celebrities like Ashton Kutcher, so many other people too, they all were at these parties. Diddy party stories, man. That was like some weird memory lane. So. And one thing that I do gotta make clear is that not all of the parties were freak off parties. So let me just clear that up. Not every single Diddy party was a freak off party, but a lot of his parties had the freak offs at the end and this was when a lot of celebrities would leave and other people that he invited they would go and if they decided to stay for the after after party you know that's when the free coughs went down so the parties would start off like these glamorous hollywood star-studded events and you know it was like other celebrity parties they could get a bit wild of course it's pretty normal nothing too crazy though it just all seemed like a good party maybe a little bit over the top nothing that would raise any red flags but then the party would transform into something more private and dark and sinister and it really makes you wonder if these a-list celebrities they actually knew what they were getting into when these freak off parties were starting or did it come as a shock i think it was a little bit of both i for sure believe that there were people who literally knew what they were walking into and they just did it because yeah they could maybe they were rich and powerful and they're like yeah 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 it's no no big deal while i do believe that there were some others that just were in the wrong place at the wrong time and listen we've all been there we've all been to parties and it's like okay yeah let's get go to the after party and you know you're, you're just thinking that you're gonna have a good time but then yeah things get dark and you are not aware of it. And then all of a sudden you're caught on camera and you're a part of the freak offs and you had no idea what you were walking into. Law enforcement has said that they have found a lot of recordings from Diddy. And now we can't necessarily confirm the existence of these tapes because none of them have been released to the public at the time that I'm recording this video. But we do have some footage already, as well as images of these parties to hint that, you know, they got way worse than you thought. The best thing you ever been to, Again, nothing fully blatantly out there, but the fact that Diddy could do that thing to Cassie in that hotel hallway, it leads me to believe that he did a lot of other things similar or even worse and recorded them during the freak offs, even though we haven't seen those tapes yet. Combs assaulting then girlfriend Cassie Ventura in a hallway. Yeah, after that Cassie tape though, man, I, I think Diddy is just capable of anything. And the police do say that, yes, they did find the tapes. Like there's hours and hours of tapes. Like Diddy did his best to record everything. So sooner or later, we will know exactly what the true nature of these parties were like because Diddy recorded so much footage. I guess he recorded it to have something to hold over the heads of people that attended so he can control them, you know, a little bit of a power trip there, as well as in case he needed to, in terms of blackmail, if somebody was gonna out Diddy on something, he was like, hey, 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 remember I got that tape of you doing that thing. So obviously this would mean serious trouble for any celebrity or any person involved. And sources are saying that this goes well beyond Diddy as well. So many people, even more powerful and influential than Diddy, are involved and caught on tape. And another thing is that I really don't think it's a coincidence why so many celebrities are just keeping silent about everything going on with Diddy. Like, I'm talking about celebrities that would rub shoulders with Diddy, like, they were BFFs and boom, nothing, not one peep, not one sound, nothing is mentioned about Diddy. So there's definitely something weird, something strange going on here. Now that the horrific charges have been revealed and Diddy is in prison, many are noticing the silence of Jennifer Lopez. Like literally even JLo who dated Diddy back in the day, she has literally shut down questions relating to Diddy recently. But getting back to the parties a little bit though, these freak offs, apparently according to this party planner, they were full blown productions. The party planner revealed that Diddy allegedly spent close to half a million dollars per party 
on everything from gourmet food to top tier drinks, professional dancers, acrobats, performers, and even live animals. And by the way, this is just like the main party. We're not even getting to the free cough. So maybe that bill was closer to a million dollars. He went all out guys to create an unforgettable atmosphere, making it clear that Diddy's parties were on another level. Literally to quote the words of LeBron James, ain't no party like a Diddy party. Hey, everybody know ain't no party like a Diddy party, so. Yeah, yeah that's what's up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The party planner did say that Diddy wanted it to be like everywhere you looked, there would be adult acts happening. So Diddy has a fascination with getting intimate and seeing other people get intimate. Yeah, so these freak out parties, yeah, they were way worse than we thought. And I guess this explains a thousand bottles of baby oil and lube that were found in Diddy's home after it was raided by law enforcement. Just how wild did these parties get? Well, all the evidence is pointing to the fact that they went way overboard. It wasn't just a wild Hollywood party. Like this was just, this was something else. This wasn't even a party. This was not a good time for many guests. I'm sure a lot of them were so uncomfortable. I'm sure a lot of people were taking advantage of and just really uncomfortable. Diddy, of course, has denied all allegations. He has pleaded not guilty and maintains that he has never engaged in anything that was specifically against the law. Did he party real hard? Yep, he'll admit that but that's as far as it goes when it comes to Diddy. Diddy's team says that they are confident that he'll be cleared of all charges, and they say that the truth will come out. Whether or not that's true, these revelations have already cast a dark shadow over his career, as well as his reputation, and it's hard to imagine how he'll bounce back from all of this, no matter what happens in the courts. So if he's found not guilty, I think he's still just done.